What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to show you how to build a device to rotate your cans in your pantry. Um, <clears throat> this basically is uh, for one type of can. You put the can in here, it slides down a little angled ramp, down, drops down onto here. So basically you put the, the newest ones in here and the oldest ones are always at the bottom. Um, this is a design that I found. I, I can't take credit for this actual design. Um, I got it from a site called shanty2chic.com. It's shanty dash the number two dash chic c h i c dot com. Uh, I modify the design slightly, but uh, you can find the basic designs there if you want uh, blueprints and so forth and, and pictures. Anyway, um, this is what the, it looks like. This is my prototype. It's not perfect, and I'm actually going to be using a little bit more robust materials uh, than this. But this is what it basically looks like. What you're going to need for this project, you're going to need a table saw. Um, I, you know, you don't have to have one. You could use a circular saw if you wanted to, but for precision, you're probably going to want to use a table saw. Uh, you're going to need some sort of um, fairly skinny, or not very thick, anyways, um, board. Now this is just some MDF, a quarter inch MDF that I had left over from another project. These are two 2x4 two pieces, that'll be plenty. I'm actually going to make 10 of these, so that'll be plenty for my purposes today. And then I have these left over. Um, these are going to make the inside pieces. Um, we're going to make these out of just, this is some uh, stuff out of the bargain bin at Home Depot. <clears throat> just some pine boards. Um, they're 5 inches wide. This one's a little long, uh, about 6 inches wide, but this one's 5 inches wide. That'll be plenty. So, uh, and then also, um, as far as fastening, obviously you need a uh, measuring device, but uh, for the fasteners, um, since we're using such thin pieces, we can't really use, we, you could use screws if you wanted to, but, but we can get away with just using finished nails and a hammer. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the side pieces. Obviously there's two sides, one here, one here. Uh, these are 13 inches by 11 and a quarter, I'm sorry, excuse me, 11 and a half. 13 inches long by 11 and a half tall. So I'm going to cut out a bunch of those, uh, two for each. So. Okay, I took the 2 by 4 board and, uh, and I've ripped it 11 and a half inches wide. So now I'm going to cut, um, I've got two of those. Now I'm going to cut uh, 13 inch long uh, pieces out of it. All right, for the next trick, we're going to cut these um, shelf pieces out, and they are 4.75 inches wide. <clears throat> so I'm going to rip both of these down to 4.75 inches wide with the table saw. All right, now we're going to cut six and a half inch pieces for the other shelf um, out of the leftover um, pine boards, and that'll be the last cutting that we have to do for the the basic structure, then we have to cut a little piece for the front uh, to make sure that the, the cans don't fall out. Okay, so for these um, shelves, basically we've got the smaller six and a half inch one angles down here, and then we've got the longer eleven and a half inch one on the bottom. So what I've done is I've made a guide out of cardboard that I can quickly put this on here and be able I put markings on here so that I can trace these lines so I know where the shelves are going to go. Um, it'll make nailing them in easier and uh, it'll make it repeatable because I'm making looks like I'm going to make six of these in this batch. So um, a lot easier than you know using your square or your your measuring tape to to remeasure this every single time. Okay, so then we take our side pieces. Um, this is the 11 and a half inch wide side. We put the guide down here, and then I uh, can't do this with one hand, but basically we're going to trace the lines and mark this, and then use a straight edge to to mark that last line on the bottom. All right, now we've got that stenciled in. The last thing we need to do before we start assembling some things. Um, actually there's two more pieces we need to cut but this is the last thing we need to do before we start assembling. 
we need to cut 2.75 inch pieces out of our leftover uh, 4.75 inch wide boards. Uh, hopefully you've got enough left over. I'm going to cut six of these. Once again they're 2.75 inches wide. Okay so this is what it's going to kind of look like on the inside. We've got our longer uh, 11 and a half inch wide or long piece down here, six and a half inch piece there. Uh, again right above the stencil line and then this last piece we just cut is going to be so they basically don't they can't come back out the front now um, one thing to point out my prototype is shorter than this this is 13 inches high um, I felt like uh, from from the, some of the pictures on that website you could actually stack more more cans here in the back area and it would give a little bit more space and I have the 13 inches on my pantry shelves to work with so they're going to be a little bit different than this. They're not going to have a lid on them. You might be wondering why we haven't cut that piece. Um, they're going to kind of be open on the top and you'll see when we're done. Alright, to attach these um, shelves we're going to use some wood glue along the sides here and then we're going to pound them in with these these finish nails. Um, and it's going to kind of be tricky. You're going to kind of have to um, put this on top here it and then pound it in. Okay so what what I did um, after I put the bead of wood glue on here is I've kind of got it propped up with these extra pieces here just to give some stability so I can hold it here and then you line it up with with the lines from below and this isn't perfectly lined up but I'll get it lined up get it centered and then put in uh, several nails. Okay for the next part I just took another um, side piece that uh, that I'd already marked off. I put the wood glue on the top there, not on the bottom, but um, I'm going to put it along the, the stenciled line here, like that, and then I'm going to take this piece, because you'll never, you'll never be able to line this thing up uh, from underneath uh, the way we did it for the other piece. Then we're just going to kind of put this thing on top and then nail it in and that will uh, get us very close to right on the money. Okay, so for this, uh, this final shelf piece, this is just kind of a guard that goes um, by the top shelf. I'm just going to put it in here, kind of line it up, square it up a little bit, and, uh, and then nail it in. But basically it's going to look like that from the front. Okay, the very last piece we're going to do is just a piece to kind of prevent the cans from falling out the front and also give you a place that you can label them and put green beans or chili or whatever on there. So we're going to do a 2 inch piece by 4 points, actually it's going to be a little bit longer than that. So we got a quarter inch on either side. So it'll be 5 and a quarter inches wide by 2 inches. Okay, so here's the piece we cut. Uh, it's just going to sit on the front here, and we're just going to nail it into the sides. Okay, we're done with the first one. So basically, this sits on the pantry shelf, like that. You put the cans in on the top, and then they rotate down to the bottom. And I'll show you, once I get all six of these done and put into the pantry, I'll show you how they, they work. Okay, we're finished. This is what they look like. Uh, you can put labels on the front here if you are so inclined to keep track of, you know, tomato soup or whatever the case may be. Basically, this is how they work. You just take cans, feed them in on the top, and they will roll down. Using gravity. I know these all don't match. They're not all the same kind, but just for demonstration purposes, this is how it works. So now, and you can keep keep on stacking on top if you want, and let gravity do its job. But anyway, that's the way it works. And uh, let's when you pull a can out of the, the bottom, gravity shifts them all down. And you got your next can up, and then as you replenish your stock, just keep feeding it back into the top. 
that's it, folks. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully you can do an even better job than I did. They look they look decent, but uh, but they could be improved upon. Not bad for a first attempt. Thanks for watching, guys.